久しぶりには英語で言うと、after a long time と思っていませんかハロートークでよくこういう投稿を見かけます。I came here after a long time. I haven't eaten ramen in a long time. I'm back after a long time. やっぱり久しぶりにみたいに after a long time がしっくりくるかもしれませんが、実はイメージがちょっと違います。はい、朝、I ate ramen after a long time.、Uh, a long time after what? みなさん、こんにちは。アーサーです。今回の動画では、ネイティブの話す感覚を通して、1. なぜ after a long time が不自然か 2. 久しぶりにのネイティブが実際に使う言い方を学びましょうよろしくお願いします So this confusion happens because people just look at the surface level meaning of the words they want to translate Japanese into English You know, hisashi means nagai jikan which equals a long time and buri means yellow tail oh I'm Uh, 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 what does it mean? After? And so people want to say after a long time. But this leads to a lot of confusion and learning weird English because English isn't about translating Japanese words into English words. 英語の本来の目的は頭の中のイメージ、気持ち、情報、いわばメッセージを相手に伝えることです。And the more we focus on the words and direct translation, the more likely we are to have this confusion. If we really want to speak English, we need to stop focusing on dictionary meanings and focus on the messages, the images, Of English. And so, what is the message, the image of after a long time? Well, the image of this is something happened, and then a long time happened, and then afterward, something else happened. You know, in Japanese, I think it's closest to shibaraku shitara or something like that. For example, I ate breakfast, and then after a long time, I got hungry again. Actually, I'm from here. I just am coming back after a long time. The key thing is this image here. You know, there is an action before and there is an action after, and the after a long time connects the two. Even if the first action isn't said, it's implied the person can understand what the first action was. But in Hisashi Burini, it doesn't have that action. You have one action. And then a long time, and then the same action happens again. And this is why it can feel strange. If the first action isn't clear to the other person, well, they would be wondering what that first action is. For example, if you said, I ate ramen after a long time, the other person would feel, After a long time doing what? What, what, what did you do before? So, if you wanted to say, Hisashiburi ni ramen o tabeta in English, it would be something like, I ate ramen after a long time of not eating ramen. But that's very verbose, very wordy, very kudoi. There is actually an easier way to say that. And so now let's look at how to say Hisashiburi ni in English. You know, the phrase that most matches the image of Hisashiburi ni is. For the first time in a while, or for the first time in a long time, or for the first time in forever. Ah, so, 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 Yes, I understand that this is also a very long phrase, and in Japanese, it's just so simple to just say, Hisashiburi. But this is really the phrase that native speakers use. But I slept real good for the first time in a long time. For the first time in a long time. You were having fun. For the first time in a long time, I felt at peace. You know, this is a reason why I like Japanese as a language. You know, Japanese has so many simple words and expressions that in English take a lot of words to express. For example, the word natsukashi. Most Japanese people learn it as nostalgic, but in English, it's actually a lot more complicated. By the way, if you want me to make a video about how to say natsukashi in English, please leave a comment below and I'll check it out. All right, so now let's look at some examples of hisashiburi ni. In the case of hisashiburi ni ramen o tabeta, you could say, I ate ramen for the first time in a while. Oh, really? I haven't eaten ramen for three months. Now, for a specific time period like san k a g e t s u b u r i ni, what would you say in that case? You would say, for the first time in. The time period. Ah,、uh, yeah, I ate ramen for the first time in three months. Oof. <laughs> so, 1 <laughs> 年ぶりだったら 
for the first time in one year と言います。If it's five years, 5年ぶりだと for the first time in five years になります。Alright, まとめに入りましょう。1. After a long time は2つの動作を意識するのですが、久しぶりには1つだけ意識するので合わないです。2。久しぶりには英語で言うと、for the first time in a long time になって、3。3年ぶり、5年ぶりだと、for the first time in three years, for the first time in five years になります。Alright, この動画の一番重要なところに入ります。今回のレッスンでは英語のネイティブの感覚を学んだのですが、まだ問題があります。ほとんどの方はフレーズ、文法をたくさん学ぶのに、いきなり外国人の対面して使う機会があっても、頭が真っ白になって言葉が出てこなくて、全く話せません。具体的にどうしたら英語を学ぶだけではなく生の世界で外国人と実際に話せるようになるのでしょうか、まあ、その問題を解決したくて世界とつながるメソッドという英語学習メソッドを開発しましたこの世界とつながるメソッドを通してより多くの日本人の方が終わりのない英語学習から解放され外国人の実際に気軽に話せるようになって豊かな日常を送っていただきたいと思っていますそのメソッドの詳細をシェアすると長くなるので詳しくは You can click up here or you can click the link below this video As always, enjoy your English adventures and I'll see you next time これからも一緒に世界とつながりましょう See you next time!